Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for deciding to watch this video. Today, Reese and I are going to do some shopping, a little bits for the house. We've got a movie booked at 3.45 called The Oppenheimer. That's how you pronounce it, I probably said it wrong. But I'm just going to really dry my hair, brush my teeth, pop a little bit of makeup on, just a little bit, probably not too much. Then we've got to get going because Reese has an appointment first before we will, we will go to the shops and have some lunch and then I do have a list on my phone of stuff that we need to get. We need to get more pillows, new ones for our bed, look at bed frames, new bowls, so we like our cereal bowls to be quite big. We want to look at options for getting new blinds in our house because we want the double ones where you can have the thin sheer one down and have the block out one up. I want to look at some paint options potentially today, don't have a look at that today, for in our kitchen because we just don't like the colour of it. I need to get a new frame from Kmart, socks, trackies and a little bit of makeup from Mecca. But first I need to dry this hair and get ready. <coughs> <coughs> just going to put on some heat protector. I'm gonna do anything else to my hair because it's dry relatively straight and I don't really want to put more heat on it. So that'll do. I thought you did. Grab some of these. Yeah. We've got one colour, two colour, three colour, four. <laughs> what white do you like? <laughs> <laughs> no, grab some more of these. I reckon grab one of each of them. <laughs> yeah. I'm also needing some stickies. So we just moved the car because we're going to go into the movie now and I've popped in my new earrings I got from Cotton On. <coughs> but yeah, they're heavier than I thought but I think it's just making my ears a bit sore because my other ones I had in were a bit tight. We're going to go in to watch the movie now. Once again, waiting for Reese in the toilet. It's taking forever. Classic Reese. Wait, 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 let me get decent. <laughs> I'm just going to do like a little haul. Wait, and oh. blow. Oh. No, but wait, wait for the camera. <laughs> she can see the camera. Wait. <laughs> nice. Nice. We are back from the shops. Reese, that movie we saw, the Oppenheimer, Reese gives that, gives that a uh, 9 out of 10. I, on the other hand, would probably give that a 2 out of 10. Purely because it's not quite my kind of movie that I'd like to see, but Reese was really wanting to see it, so we went to see it. It was fantastic. She loved every second of it. Even at one time, played on her phone during it. I was very much bored. Anyway, I was going to quickly go through a bunch of the things that we got when we were shopping. We picked up some of these painting, we call them, samples, because we're wanting to paint part of our kitchen from an awful green aqua colour to something a bit more normal. Like it. Is that necessary? We also picked up uh, another frame from Kmart because Reese had broken one of these whilst he was playing with Nugget by throwing a ball and it hit the frame off the ball and smashed everywhere. So we got a new one of these. We got a bunch of new pillows because ours are very much overdue and disgusting. Nugget, can you can you stop walking over everything? <laughs> Come on. Got Nugget some more dentists, which she will love. Also got this big old. I won't even think I'll be able to show the whole thing. But it's a big fake plant because I've been wanting an indoor plant for a while. We did try having a real one at one stage, but we killed it because we just weren't ordering it enough. So I'm wanting to put this kind of in this corner over here. 
And then we got this from Kmart, this indoor stand to go with that so it had something nice to sit on. I think that this will kind of look nice. So I set that up later. I then picked up some slippers from Kmart. What, you want to sniff them too? Do you approve? So I picked up some slippers because I've been walking around in mum's leftover crown slippers that she got when she stayed there. So I need some proper good slippers. Tell them the story of your slippers. What do you mean? At the thing. Because usually in shoes I'm a size 8 and these pair of shoes I also got from Kmart are a size 8. I tried those on in the store and they fit fine. So I grabbed a size 8 of the slippers thinking that they would also be fine. And I've done this before where I go to put stuff in the trolley without trying stuff on and then it ends up not fitting. So we'll get the checkout. Reese made me try it on in the checkout area and they didn't fit. So I had to go get another pair and I ended up having to get a size 10 slippers, which there's no way that they're a size 10 because I tried on a size nine and my toes were still hitting the end. So I had to settle for a size 10. So thank you, Reese. And after all that of me telling her to go do that, these are too big. The my slippers that I got. <laughs> Are you serious? Did you yeah. try them on? I tried them on, but now walking properly in them, they're huge. They're a 12 to 13. <laughs> Oops. You're such a hypocrite. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, hey, hey. Also from Kmart, I picked up some more ankle socks because I did, I do have some of the invisible ones, but I wanted to get some that had a bit more of something at the end, so it didn't keep falling down all the time. I know these are kind of similar, but they're not, they're not the invisible ones, they're just a low cut. I also got these cream colored nugget, really, <laughs> go away. And picked up these cream cargo pants from Cotton On. I do have the same except in black, but I have been wanting to venture out into some more colours for a little bit. Then this is a shirt that Reese picked up. I think it looks so nice and if he was to wear this and I wore the cream cargo pants with a white top, we would be matching, I think. It would be very cute. Also from Cotton Non, it was 2 for $30, so I got this cream coloured high neck shirt. I just got the same in a white. I also got these earrings from Cotton On that I'm, I put in before the movie. So they were very nice. From JJ's, they had quite a few sales on and they had half price in jackets. And I've been wanting like a warm cream colored jacket for a little while because my black puffer jacket doesn't have a hood. So I saw this in JJ's. Got a hood, some nice big pockets and a zip all the way down. <laughs> And Reese also got two trackies from JJ's as well, so a grey with some black stripe with writing down the bottom. And not the same, but very similar in a black pair. And the final store I went into was Mecca. Oh, you, you want this one, do you? Ooh. <laughs> Get out of it. So what I picked up from Mecca, I was low on my hourglass ambient lighting bronzer, so I picked up another one of those. Kind of the same with my Laura Mercier powder, except the one, the powder that I do have, it was the smaller travel size one, I think it is. So I picked up a big full size of that, so that will last me a very long time. The last thing I picked up from Mecca is, it's like one of the little, what they call them, mini try things that when you're lining up in the red star aisle, you can get like a mini size of something to try. And I picked up, it's a Brazilian Crush 68, Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. It's a perfume mist. I haven't actually smelled it though, so I'm counting on it smelling nice. So I feel like this will be a nice size to have in my bag. Oh, that smells good. Right, I'm so confused. I just had to get a little bit annoyed then because I bought these ones because I need them and I also needed more of my Mecha Max contour stick and I brought it up to the counter for the lady to scan and it's not in my bag and it's not on the receipt so she must have scanned it, it's probably still sitting on the counter so it's a little bit annoying so I have to go back at some point to get some more but that's alright, not the end of the world I guess just a bit annoying <laughs> but we're going to set up this plant thingy over in the corner I think so Reese has just opened up this. So pot with acacia stand. With the stand, right? Therefore you'd expect it to be in there. It's only the pot. Where is the stand? It's just a disaster. Oh, it's 
disaster. And the only receipt that we didn't keep <laughs> came up. <laughs> well, I thought I kept all of them. I thought I had them all in my bag or somewhere, but it's the only one that we cannot find. <sighs> Why are you looking at me? I want to see the fucking Bro. packet! What do you mean? Because I get nervous when you're watching. I want to see the bloody thing we got our dog. I don't care what you're filming. Fruit tingle. <laughs> you're a fruit tingle. Hi guys. Oh. So I did talk about, in, I think in another clip, that I ordered a new collar for Nugget from Personalized Pets. Australia and it has arrived so I thought I'd open it for you guys here. It's empty. We hope you and Nugget love this order as much as oh, there's a visual on it too. Cute. Nugget look! Your early birthday present. Oh careful. Look. This is the colour. She really mm -hmm. wants to put it no, on. Wants it. <laughs> and so it's got her name here. So I think it might be the same colour as what we did get her, but hers is just very much discoloured. But we've got, I went with the white writing because I think it looks nicer. And then you do have the option of putting your phone number on the side. So if she gets lost, someone can ring you. And they were kind enough to throw it in. Oh, it's got your name on it, Nugget. I thought it was just gonna be like a normal no, okay girl. You're, you're in my space. So they were kind enough to throw in a free lead for us and I didn't realise, but it's actually got her name on it. How cute is that? That's cool. How cute and it matches! <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> okay, let's let's get out of here. Yeah. Help? yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise how gross her collar was. Not good. It's very much over too. Don't feel old going like that. Da, 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 da. Good girl. Wow. New colour. Look. You're a new woman. You look, it's so bright. Oh, that's nice. Yay! <laughs> wow. <laughs> look at you, you stylish girl. <laughs> oh, yes. nom, 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 nom. Stop eating it. Yeah, Reese and I are gonna go take Nugget to, for a little photo shoot with her new collar and lead. What's wrong? You've got a new present. What are you wanting for? So we are back from our walk and taking photos with Nugget. If you guys haven't seen Nugget's post of her in her new collar and using her new lead, feel free to go to her page and check it out and show some support there. And if you guys are wanting a new lead for your little puppy, I'd definitely recommend checking them out, especially if you want something a little bit special, a little bit different and unique and personalized to be able to have your pet's name on it as well. And I also like the fact that you can put your phone number on it. In the photos I did obviously cover my phone number because I didn't want that public knowledge. Go check out Personalized Pets Australia, absolutely lovely. And thank you so much again for Personalized Pets for gifting the lead. It was very, very generous and I love it. Nugget loves it too, but I think I love it more. However, you would have seen in a previous clip in this video that Reese and I went to Kmart to get a couple of things and we got a stand for this plant sitting behind me here. But when we opened it up, it didn't have the actual stand, it just had the pot. So Reese, being an absolute champ, went back to Kmart swapped it for another one and it actually comes with the stand now so i was going to set that up so that it looks nice and lovely in the corner i don't know if i did say it is actually a fake plant i have tried having real plants in here before and unfortunately they are no longer with us so i want to set up the stand with you guys it comes with instructions beautiful so it just has comes with an allen key and a bolt this is what the pot looks like Pretty simple. I think this was actually on clearance when we bought it. I think it might have been $19 or something. Because we did look around at Bunnings and Spotlight. Because we got this plant from Spotlight. We were looking around there and Bunnings for a pot stand. But it was really nothing that I was picturing. So when I saw this in Kmart, I feel like it was the closest thing I was kind of picturing for what would match our house. So the white I knew would match. I know this wood, if you can see. The wood isn't exactly the same colour as our floor. But it kind of... Not really. I was gonna say it kind of goes with our coffee table, but not really. So I'm just gonna set this up here on the floor. So you have your pot, two leg frames, leg frame one and two. Okay, yep. 
and then your bolt and your allen key which I've got. So the first step is literally just to connect the two stands together which makes sense. Also before I start Look how cute Nugget is outside. She just looks like she's so pooped from the walk and getting her new collar. She's that excited that she's just crashed outside. Look at her. In the sun, just chilling. She's so cute. Whoa. It's way too close for comfort. So first things first, clear some room. I don't believe it. We should just sit somewhere like that because they're the bottom ones with their soft padding. I mean, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard to put together, you'd think. Yay, she's done it. Then you literally just sit this in there. Done. <laughs> that was the quickest and lamest construction of something I've ever done. Ta-da! Looks so nice. I mean, Nugget's dog bowl kind of ruins the vibe, but she's used to it being there, so I can't change that. But yeah, I think that looks nice. I think it just adds a... A little bit of extra touch to the house, a little bit of life, even though they're fake. So it's actually a couple of days after the last clip you would have seen. I've sat down to edit this video and I have forgotten to do an outro. I think when I've been filming clips, I just assume that I never film enough. And then I just keep filming and filming over a few days and then it just ends up being way too much footage. Because I think once it hits 20 minutes, that's kind of where I think I want to draw the line with how long a video will be. I mean, who knows? One day I might end up doing vlogs that go for longer than that. Yeah, I don't know if people's interest will last longer than 20 minutes, so I don't want to push my luck. So I just wanted to end this video here. I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe. Blah, blah. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. If you want to go follow me on Instagram and see more of my day-to-day -day life, feel free to go over there and check that out. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and see you next time. Bye. Nugget, say bye. She doesn't care. <laughs> bye.